established led to their closure. However, the federal government suspended the closure order when decree number 9 of 1993 was promulgated. This has led to the orderly establishment of private universities in Nigeria with the first three licenses in 1999. It should be noted that these universities were established to be citadels of learning and development. Section 3, subsection 59 of the National Policy on Education 2014 outlines the aims of higher education thus. One, contribution to national development through high-level manpower training. Two, development of the intellectual capabilities of the individual to understand and appreciate their local and external environment. Three, acquisition of both physical and intellectual skills, which enables the individual to be self-reliant and useful member of the society. Four, promotion and encouragement of scholarship and community services. And five, for national unity and the promotion of national cohesion, understanding, and integration. Section 8, subsection 60 of the document also states that higher education in Nigeria should vigorously pursue these goals through the following teaching and learning, research and development, as well as knowledge generation and dissemination, and international cooperation, and dedicated service to the communities through extramural and consultancy services. In 2019, there were over 6,232 programs across the entire Nigerian universities with academic staff strength of about 75,584 all in a bid to pursue the goal stated above. However, the greatest change has been in the explosion in the student population and the number of aspirants seeking university education. The total student enrollment in all Nigerian universities grew from just over 2,000 in 1962 to over 2.1 million in 2019. Over 2 million candidates registered to take the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Exam, UTME, yearly in Nigeria. Now let's look at the emergence of private universities in Nigeria. The inability of the federal and state governments to cater for the increasing education demand precipitated calls for establishment of more tertiary institutions by private organizations and faith-based organizations. Uh, let, let me drag, digress a little from the paper to add this. Today, there are 79 universities in Nigeria recognized by the federal government. Out of these 79 universities, there were, oh, excuse me, there are 170, 170 universities in Nigeria, like said by the federal government. Out of these 170, 79 are private universities. Out of these private universities, there are 39 that are Christian faith-based that have been licensed, 39, with 15 awaiting their license as of January 2020. So in that wise, 
the Christian faith based university are 49.4% of the private universities. And that is very, very significant. And 23% of the total number of universities in Nigeria. That's almost one quarter of the total universities. So the church, Christian faith-based university, we are making great progress. Let's give the Lord a big hand. For that. Give the Lord. Give the Lord a big hand. According to Osage 2009, the idea of private university was first mooted in 1960, in the, 19, in the 60s and 70s. It was dropped due to government intolerance and lack of funds. That's according to Murphy Don's paper of 1982. The 1979 Constitution put higher education on the concurrent list. In the Second Republic, some state government took advantage of that provision to float their state universities. A state that were forerunners in this regards were Imo, Bendel, Lagos states. Because of the democratic government in place and the attendant air of deregulation in the rules regarding establishment of our institutions, a new but strange phenomenon emerged. This is according to Oladeko, 1991. Some private individuals made both steps to float private universities. The first and most famous of these new effort was the Imo Technical University founded by Dr. Nana Okebo. That's according to a lot of paper of 1991. Within six months of the ruling of the Supreme Court that legislated the establishment of private institutions, 26 private universities were proposed in the country. This is according to Osage in Osage's paper of 2009. Now, Let's look at the role of faith-based universities in Nigeria. The aim and objectives of non-government universities are to transform the nation educationally, socially, economically, and culturally, as well as to develop the nation in a sustainable manner. On November 7, 2003, the Chancellor of Madonna University, very Reverend Professor E.M.P. Ede, reiterated the above when he claimed that private universities need to establish great excellence in education as their counterparts in Europe and America. This is according to Osage 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to inform you and even sciences, science and technology, arts, agriculture, and agricultural technology sciences. Now, in the next pages of the paper, some, some private universities, faith-based, are considered. First, Benzing there was a university. Okay, if you want to clap, 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 clap. Good. And then second, Bakko University in English Rema. And then third, Covenant University, Ota. Next, Precious Connaughton University, Ibadan. That's our university. Please, I will advise that we are okay. And last but not the least, Redeemers University Ede, and the visitor to Redeemers University Ede, mostly owned by Pentecostal churches. I'm so proud to say that most of the private universities are owned by Pentecostal churches, and um, we give glory to God. When in my hotel this morning, I was uh, discussing with my team, and I said, okay, mention to me faith-based university of Pentecostal extraction. I mean, it just began to come. Began to come. You know, uh, Benson in the house of university. Benson in the house of 
Rijema University, Salem University, Mountain Top University, Biola University, Covenant University, Landmark University, Bowen University, Adona, and we, on and on, we began to list. I was so, so excited, and I give thanks to God for faith-based university, and I can link it to the faith of Archbishop Benzie, that was at the man who saw tomorrow. <laughs> 